What is going on everybody? I am DadBod. In tonight's Ahorn tutorial, we're talking about mountain position relative to your map. So in vanilla, we can see when we move, it kind of goes to different areas on the mountain. And there's a lot of there's a lot of mountain to cover. But if you don't have this position, it kind of looks like this, where it just goes to a spot and it almost looks like you're clipped into something. So we're gonna show you how to get a defined position for your mountain location all today. Let's go. Get in loser, we're going to the internet. All right, so first things first, in our map package, we are gonna go into maps, and then the name of your campaign. Essentially, we just want to get to the, the directory where your bin is located. And if you do not have one yet, we are looking to create a meta YAML. And if you look at the format that I have here, it is just the name of my bin dot meta in lowercase dot YAML. If you watch the video on creating the custom end screen, you already have one of these. If not, let's create one right now. All right, the first thing we're gonna talk about is getting a specific mountain location that exists in vanilla. And I'm actually gonna just be reading a lot of this from the wiki off to you. I know that um, me personally, I was just too lazy to actually go and read it or some of the things just didn't, I didn't understand really well. But initially we are going to have this line of text here and I've linked the direct page for this in the description. So we're going to copy this and we are going to move this on to the meta just like so. And we can see that when we save this now and reload it, that's pretty cool. Now you can see that it's doing a couple extra things. So let's read up what everything means and then show you how to pull from vanilla. So directly from our useful, useful wiki here. We have a couple things, obviously it says mountain, idle, select, position, target, zoom, cursor, state, show core, rotate. <clears throat> so idle defines the camera position during the level selection. So that is the position and then where, the, where it's targeted. Select defines the camera position when you selected the level and looking at checkpoint selection or side selection. Zoom is the camera position when you zoom into the level after you start, which is useful to know because obviously it, it cuts in. Cursor is the location of the Madeline cursor on the mountain. To place this, move the camera to where you want the cursor to be and then copy the position coordinates. Beautiful. State defines the lighting of the mountain. Zero is nighttime, one is dawn, two is day, three is moon. Show core decides whether the core heart should be shown on the mountain or rotate decides whether the camera should rotate around the mountain. So you can see it's either a true or false statement for show core and rotate. And then the states we just uh, showed there. So zero is night. We can kind of mess around with that a little bit, but I like that. Now it says here, if you just want to copy the coordinates of a vanilla chapter, have a look at the values defined in content, overworld, areaviews.xml. So let's go check that out. All right, so let's just go back. We need to find content, overworld, area views. We can just go up, up, up. We're in our mods directory. Now we're in the Celeste folder, content. And we go to overworld area views XML and we can see all the different locations. Now you cannot just copy and paste this over, unfortunately, but we can see area ID zero, one, two, three, just referring to the different chapters. And we could just pick any of these though. And it looks like, so idle position, we can go ahead and copy the numbers and place them in like so. Target position, just copy. I mean, it's essentially just copying, pasting everything over. We have our select position right here. 
don't want to copy the quotations because everything is going in these little brackets here. Our target or select. We can do our zoom position. Over cursor position. <clears throat> and then what did we say it has to be? I'm going to close that now for zero is night. So let's change that to nighttime. Uh, rotation, I don't want. And show core, I don't want. So let's save it. Reload Celeste. See how it looks. All right, we got Celeste loaded up. Let's see where it landed us on the map. Boom. Exact coordinates from the vanilla location that we pulled. And that's all there is to it. There's not much else, uh, you know, when it comes to pulling vanilla locations. If you want to do your own custom location, well, let's just dig into that right now. But first, a word from our sponsor. We don't have any sponsors. Not big enough of a channel. Subscribe now. All right, so when we are on the map here and we have a view of the mountain, just by pressing the space bar, it gives us our position and our target. With WASD, we can move left, right, up, down. With Q and Z, we can move higher or lower. And with our mouse, we can click and look around. So we can move in and zoom in on just pretty much anything that we want. We can zoom, unfortunately, way lower than we're supposed to. I feel like I'm in Minecraft and my graphics card just isn't that good. But this allows us to move around anywhere that we want, get as close as we want, just do pretty much anything to get the correct location. So you can find this little space right here. Maybe that's where you want your map to be. Maybe your map is... I don't know, is it just like a waterfall coming out the side there? Looks like it. Be like a little secret lake. Oops, wrong way. But this allows you to pretty much do any of that. So you can get your position, target, and then obviously you would get your, once you select it, your zoom. So if maybe you have, this is your position, you could have, this is your zoom. You could have, I mean, you could do it however you want. It's it's really up to you, and then choose whether you want rotation to happen. It's it's pretty simple. You just move around as you would, space bar to get back, and like I said, all of that will be um, there. So idle position, obviously, is just, you can have that set to just kind of be around that area. Your select position is where it zooms in when you select it. And then your zoom position is where it like zooms in heavily after you select the level. Oh, so not bad. That's uh, I know there's a lot of information in there, but like I said, it's all linked here. It's in the description. Grab it. There are some other things that you can do that I will not be getting into in this tutorial because you can do custom mountain and moon models. This kind of goes over it. Custom textures if you uh, can make your own texture packs. Recoloring things like the different fog colors, all that stuff uh, on your mountain, uh, custom music and ambient sounds, disabling snow, like all that stuff you can do and it's all located in here. Probably won't do a video on that, but I know I've had enough people ask me about custom mountain position to, uh, to warrant, where'd you go mountain? There we go. To warrant making a video on this. So somebody make a map where you just play in this tree. But also make it like 30 screens long. That's all we have for tonight. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, do so. Help a dad bot out. And we will see you next time. Till then, have a great night.